Hello and welcome back to World 360. Today we're going to discuss a political anomaly. A political party in a country that declares itself a multi-party democracy has just won the latest presidential polls and thereby extending its 47-year streak in power. I'm talking about the Popular Movement for the Liberation of Angola, or the MPLA, which has been in power in Angola since the African country gained independence from Portugal in 1975. Now, on Monday, the MPLA under President João Lourenço was elected for another five-year term. The MPLA won about 51% of the vote, while its main opposition, the National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, or the UNITA, won about 44% of the vote. Now, on paper, Angola considers itself a democracy. After it gained independence in 1975, it changed from a one-party Marxist-Leninist system to a multi-party democracy with a new constitution in 1992. Another constitution was introduced in 2010, which clearly states that Angola is a democratic state based on the rule of law and a just society. More importantly, Angola has the third largest economy in sub-Saharan Africa and is even one of the US's main export markets in that region. The second largest oil producing country in sub-Saharan Africa and an OPEC member, Angola has done well to cement its relevance in the international petroleum market. Oil accounts for about 98% of the government's total revenues. However, as a least developed country or an LDC, it still faces major infrastructure gaps and continues to receive development financing. The country has also made certain strides in the social and cultural area. Last February, it in fact legalized same-sex marriage. But socio-economic factors aside, the MPLA's dominance in Angola's politics has often shaken the very foundations of the country's democracy. The UNITA, a former rebel movement that fought a 27-year civil war against the MPLA government that ended in 2002, has protested almost every election result. UNITA also claims that the Electoral Commission is packed with pro-MPLA commissioners. Now, the recent election was quite close, and the MPLA had a significant loss of 26 parliamentary seats since the previous election in 2017, in which it secured 61% of the vote. But the fact remains, the MPLA has ruled in Angola for far too long. The low voter turnout in the recent election is also being interpreted as a sign of growing disenchantment with the MPLA in Angola. Out of the 14.4 million registered voters in the country, only 6.5 million of them, or about 44%, came out to vote. Informed conjecture might suggest that many voters are either too fearful to vote against the ruling party or have lost faith in elections as a vehicle through which life might materially improve, said researchers Craig Moffat and Ross Harvey in an opinion piece for South African Daily Mail and Guardian. So the question remains, is MPLA's political dominance eroding Angola's democracy? According to Freedom House, the answer is yes. It notes that the ruling party has repressed political dissent and that since President João Lourenço was first elected in 2017, the government has taken steps to crack down on endemic corruption and ease restrictions on the press and civil society, but serious governance and human rights challenges persist. Journal of Democracy, an academic journal, has also termed Angola just another African hybrid regime and has gone as far as to say that it has transformed from a once failed state and into a reformed autocracy. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pia Kushankuti for The Print. Do subscribe to The Print Orin and follow us on social media.